Yo guys, what's going on? Sam here. Today I'm bringing you my monthly manga haul for March. And we got a lot of really cool stuff today. Definitely more than I was expecting to get. I found some really quality stuff for varying good good prices actually. Uh, some varying, but mostly good prices. Uh, but yeah, let's just get right into it. I want to start off with a couple things that I got that weren't manga. We have the D. Greyman art book, Noche. Or Nochi, I'm not sure how to say it. But yeah, this is was a really cool find. I found this on Facebook for like eight bucks, uh, and it's just an art book. It has uh, all the covers and some of the like the special Shonen Jump covers, from Weekly Jump when it was in the magazine, and it actually has some interviews with I'm not sure the the creator's name I forget, but he does the Kochikame uh, series. Let me see if I can find it. He does an interview, but here's some of the art. It is gorgeous. Uh, if you love D Gray Man, this is this is the item for you. Um, but yeah, here there's an interview with the creator of Kuchikami, which is that guy. That's a longer title, I forget what uh, it's fully named. But then there's also an interview with Takashi Abasa and Kasura Hoshino, the artist uh, for Digimon. And And uh, that's a reverse order. But yeah, uh, that's really cool. I haven't got to read these, but uh, I definitely glanced through the art book. It is super sick. Definitely recommend if you're a D. Gray Man nut. If you love everything D. Gray Man. And honestly, if you're just a fan of art books in general, this is a really cool. Uh, cool book with really cool interviews and cool art stuff. So yeah, there's that. And next we have uh, Death Note, another note, the Los Angeles BB murder cases, which is a light novel. And uh, as you guys know, I'm trying to read more light novels. I've kind of failed so far this year. I haven't read any. I've been reading a lot of manga, but I've been looking for this one for a good price. I got it at a used bookstore for like eight bucks. The back sleeve's a little dirty, but it was eight bucks. Like I said, not that's a good, that's a great price. It's a, not a big deal for me. And it's written by Dicio Issen, who does Mataka Box and Bakuman Guitari, or the Mon Guitari series, I should say. But yeah, so I'm excited to read this one eventually. I might read this over Bakuman Guitari, I haven't decided, but as my first light novel. But yeah, there's that. Some single issues from random series. I got starting off with Batum Volume 6. I got this from InStock Trades. I'm just missing, aside from a couple of the rare ones, which I believe are 10, 11, and 13, 14. I have 10, 11. I'm just missing 13 and 14. Aside from the two that I'm, the two rare ones I'm missing, I think it's just 20, 22, and 26 light that I need to get. And once I get those, honestly, I'll probably just read the series and read those two volumes online, or just buy them digitally. Uh, we'll see, uh, because those are hard to find. And I want to read the series and fully get through it. I actually like the anime quite a bit. Uh, I don't know if it holds up. I watched it forever ago, probably like six years ago at this point. But yeah, uh, slowly, slowly making my way to completing this series. Just again, the two rare ones will be the hard ones to find. But yeah, Batum Volume 6. Next, we have another Facebook find, which was Yu Yu Hakusho. I got it for above retail, and I should have waited because I'm an idiot. And about a week later, after I bought this, might have been like two weeks, but really shortly after, it came back on sale at Right Stuff and it was actually discounted. It was like their like extra 10% off. It's like six dollars and change. Uh, I spent about twenty three dollars, I think, after tax and stuff, which isn't egregious. I've seen it go for way more, but I saw it. I was like, oh, I just want to get it. This is the last one I need, and I should have just been patient. The moral of the story, guys: be patient, wait. If you know it's coming back, just wait. Obviously, if it's out of print, you know. It could always go up in price, so you play that game, but Viz said this was coming back at some point, and I should have just waited because I could have got it for a third of the price that I spent it. But, or a fourth of the price, I should say. But, yeah. Yu Yu uh, Hakusho, Volume 11. Here we have Video Girl AI, or Video Girl I, which was another Facebook find. Uh, was out of stock at Right Stuff, and I figured it was cheap enough, might as well get it. It was like nine bucks. Uh, so yeah, uh, this is the last series I, or last volume I needed to complete the series. That's why I got it. This one also came back on right stuff, and it uh, is it's a little bit uh, uh, used, probably like G3, G4. It's a little yellow, a little bit more beat up than I was hoping. It was pretty dirty, and I did clean it. Uh, so you, obviously that's not here anymore. But I should have just waited for this one as well. But this one is not as egregious. Uh, and yeah, but yeah, Video Girl AI finally completed this. Got it for a decent price. Next up we have. By Family Volume 4 and I've been reading these as they come out and I've just been absolutely loving it. I'm super excited to see the dog come into play here. I These just came in yesterday so I haven't got a chance to read these uh, or this one. I have a couple more to show you guys that came in together but yeah I love Spy Family. It's, it's honestly becoming one of my favorite series. Again if you're not reading it you're really missing out. Definitely check this one out or check this series out if you can. 
Next, this series needs no introduction. Honestly, it's the GOAT. Chainsaw Man, Volume 4. This actually came out a little early. It's not supposed to come out for like another week. Um, this cover is awesome. Uh, all of Chainsaw Man is pretty excellent. Uh, I've already read this series, so I'm, I haven't been reading it. I'm trying to get all the volumes and do a reread before Part 2 comes out. But guys, Chainsaw Man, I'm telling you, this is probably where it honestly picks up for me here. I'd have to look and see what chapters are in this volume, but... Yeah, so this is, this. I would say after the first arc is where it honestly uh, exceeds, like, uh, becomes exceptional of a series. Uh, it's good beforehand, obviously, I read it, I liked it uh, up until this point, but after, like, chapter 30-ish is when the series, like, literally goes off. And, yeah, uh, if you're not reading it, now is the perfect time to jump in. More volumes are coming. This series is great. Read Chainsaw Man. Next up... We have Dr. Stone reboot, Biakia. This came in uh, with the other two series, uh, and it's just more Dr. Stone. This actually was a fun read through. I read it online. I think they showed it in Jeff Ab, actually. I think it was, they were doing it. They were, uh, had it free up there. I don't think it's available anymore unless you're subscribed, but this was a fun little side story revolving uh, Biakia, which is Senku's dad. And this guy, actually, he's actually like the main protagonist, uh, Ray 37. And it just shows them in space. Uh, during the the stone flash that encased the world in stone, and I won't spoil anything. Uh, but this was uh, it's just a fun read. It's actually written by and drawn by Boichi, so not even uh, so. Uh, Ryuichiro Nagaki is the main writer who also did Ice Shield, but uh, Boichi, who's the artist, actually wrote this, uh, and I'm sure Ryuichiro gave him um, like not pointers, but like definitely consulted with him when writing it. But yeah, this is a fun read. If you like Doctor Stone, it's just more Doctor Stone. Uh, yeah, this one's hard. This is a mixed thing. I know people don't like the series. Uh, if you can stick with it, honestly, it's pretty fun. But understand if you don't like it that much. But this is fun. I like Dr. Stone as a series. Uh, don't let Base Senpai persuade you and tell you it's bad. He likes Black Clover, so he doesn't know what he's talking about. But yeah, Dr. Stone, uh, reboot, yuck, yeah. And the last thing I got from that little order was Jujutsu Kaisen Volume 5. This was one of the few uh, series that was, or volumes, I should say, that was in stock for the series when they were doing their like 10% off in stock sale. Uh, so I grabbed it. This was the one I, this is the one I was next needing. Uh, volume five. I have six and seven ordered. They are out of stock. Who knows when I will get them or when they'll come in, I should say. But yeah, definitely gonna be reading this one. This has been fun, guys. Uh, I, I, don't, I definitely think it's obviously a little bit overrated. Uh, not in the sense that it's not good, but people have hyped this up way, 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 way too much to unrealistic expectations. But it's it's very solid. It's a fun shonen. Uh, it's one of the better things running in Shonen Jump right now. So yeah, Jujutsu Kaisen. I mean, I, everyone's reading it. Everyone's talking about it. It's great so far, and I'm excited to get uh, read more of it and get more into the series. So next up, I have a very, very obscure series called the, or it's not called the, but it's just called Wandering Island. And if you guys don't know, uh, this verse volume is very out of print and a little bit expensive. It goes for like forty to sixty dollars. I've seen it go for a little more, um, but this volume is very easy to get. Volume two is like overstock. They have tons everywhere. You can get it for under ten bucks, uh, which is what I did off a books, I believe. But I found this one at a very local bookstore, and the owner hooked me up. So I think I only paid like a little over thirty bucks for it. Um, but yeah, this this series looks awesome. I don't know too much about it. I know it's on a very it's on a very long hiatus. Um, but the interior is, are, are just beautiful of this stuff. Uh, it's about this girl, basically, who her grandfather gives her, like, an inheritance, but he's hidden it on some island that's not marked on any map. So she is on a quest to find it. And, uh, I'm just excited to read it. There's only these two volumes, even in Japan, like, it's not even, like, it just didn't do well. Like, it's, there's only, like, nine chapters ever printed. So this is all there is of this series. So I'm not even sure if it's worth getting into or looking into, but I'm definitely going to try and read it. Or I am going to read it, but I'm going to try and uh, do a review and just or a discussion on it. But yeah, Wandering Island. Uh, the, there's not much to say. It's really cool looking. The art's really good. This is hard to find. I'll let you guys know if it's worth it. But yeah, first two volumes of Wandering Island. Next up, a lone omnibus for Blade of... The Immortal. I was at a local comic book store and they were having like a 20% off weekend and they had a couple volumes and this one was in the best condition that I didn't already own. Uh, there was a, I think, 9, 10, and 3, and 2 
and two is kind of beat up and I didn't want to spend a lot of money because I uh, don't have nine but I do have ten but yeah I'm just slowly collecting these before they are impossible to find I prefer these over the, uh, the deluxe hard editions those are really really nice um, but there's a couple things from keeping me getting those I like I prefer the spines on these and I know the, the cover images of those it's just like a sticker in the front which is Really, really disappointing, honestly. It could peel off or get damaged over time. But, uh, these are nice. I just like these, and I want to get these. So yeah, I just found this. It was discounted off cover price. It was like 18 bucks, which I think is what like right stuff offers. Uh, but yeah, I'm just slowly getting these. Blade of the Mortal. Hoping to get these by the end of the year, but we shall see. Next up, we have a bunch from a single series that I got from In Stock Trades, and that is Toriko volumes uh very random it's like 14 or sorry uh, 15 not 16 because that's hard as hell to find 15 17 18 19 uh 20 21 22 and 23 so it goes from 15 skipping 16 and then 17 to 23 and i'm just trying to i just want to get through these guys i want to get these before they're impossible to find this one's very very yellow you can see so they must have had this one uh, for a while but uh fun shonen uh the uh, current author uh, is doing a series in Shonen Jump called Build King, which is like uh, Dragon Quest Builders, but in his particular style. There's more to it. I don't know that much about it, but I'm just trying to, just trying to get through these, trying to collect these before they're impossible to find. Books a Million did have to 5, 10, and 16, which is the hardest to find uh, for like a back order, but uh, they haven't shipped, and I honestly don't believe that they will ship. But yeah, here's some of the covers. Again, probably like with other ones where they're just select volumes are hard to find. I'll probably just, once I have all the volumes that I can get, so everything besides those three, I'll just read them and when I get to those chapters, yeah, when I get to those chapters, I'll just read them online. But yeah, I got Torico, seven more. These are for my birthday. My brother gave me an in-stock trades gift card, so I figured why not get some Torico. So you guys know I've been reading Tenjo, Tenge, or maybe you don't know. Uh, I've been post posting about it on Instagram, but here I have three through six. Uh, yeah, I love this series. The anime is really fun, if not a little bit cheesy. Uh, oh, great is fantastic, and these are some uh, great stuff. And I'm excited to read through these. I have uh, these are there's only 11 omnibuses. There's like 22 volumes, and uh, I'm collecting them as I go. I'm almost there with these. I think like I, I, I ordered the last couple, but I just ordered them recently, so I won't be getting them until next month. Most likely, this cover is awesome. Maya is the greatest between Maya and Emmy. Those two are waifu material. But yeah, Tenjo Tenge, Tenjo Tenge, Ogre's first work. Just a really cheesy, fun seinen uh, that if you guys haven't checked out, I'd honestly check out the anime first, and if you like that, then check out the manga. But yeah, there are these. Three through six. And these spines, honestly, these spines are great. I love the color schematic. Give me a color schematic spine and I will love it. Love it, love it, love it. But yeah, Tenjo Tenge, three through six. Speaking of color schematic spines, we have Good Night Poon Poon, one, two, four, and five. Uh, I had bought three as well in this bundle from the uh, Simon & Schuster, using the Simon & Schuster uh, code that was going around. I'll put it up on the screen somewhere here. Uh, if it's, yeah, I'm not sure if it's still uh, active or available, but I'll put it up anyway. But yeah, I got these. Three was on back order. They sent these for now, and uh, yeah, that's all I got. As soon as I get three in, I might start reading it, because I have six and seven ordered as well, even though those are out of stock. But yeah, this is a series that I've talked about that I've been trying to get into for a very long time. I got it for a deal that I wanted to with the coupon, um, and then the right stuff. Uh, being normally discounted anyway put it at all at a price that I was willing to spend for the whole series used so that's really cool um, th you know this is top 10 for most people uh, this is in top 10 for on Mal's manga list so this is series I've been dying to read I'm excited hopefully three comes in soon because I really 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 want to read it but we shall see but here's good night poon poon just Inio Asano's magnum opus and I know Inio Asano is Kind of hit or miss. I understand. I've only read, uh, was it Dead Dead Demons, uh, Niji Ohala, Hargraph, and Downfall. And Dead Dead Demons is actually pretty good, but the other two are okay. One's uh, Downfall is all right, or Downfall is decent, but it's a little generic. And then Niji Ohala, Niji Ohala, Hargraph is weird, and 
not that great, but that was one of his earlier works. But yeah, good night, Poon Poon. Here it is, colorful splines, great stuff. Can't wait to get it, uh, the rest of it, and beat it. So guys, I got one more series from the Simon & Schuster sale, and that is Fire Punch. Uh, two through eight, it's a little out of order. Uh, I got one as well, but that was also on back order, so just waiting, which really sucks is I can't even start it. Honestly, if I had volume one, I would have been reading this already. I've been dying to read this. It's Tatsuki Fujimoto, uh, who does uh, Chainsaw Man. If you guys don't already know, I won't shut up about Chainsaw Man because how much I love it. These covers are totally badass. I love them. Uh, and I'm just waiting on volume one. Again, honestly, I've been so hyped to read this. I'm trying to find it in store and just buy it. And then I guess just sell the duplicate when it comes in because I really, really want to read it. And again, I'm just waiting on volume one to start reading the series. Look at this, this is a fucking great cover. Uh, I think three and five are one of my favorites. This one's nice too. But yeah, Fire Punch. I don't know too much about this, honestly. Yeah, this, the green in this is awesome. I love it. I just know it's like a dystopian world and the guy can turn into fire. He looks like Todoroki. That's all I know. Uh, but yeah, this is an, also another really good cover. The white and the blue is great. But yeah, so I'm just waiting on volume one. And as soon as it comes in, or as soon as I find it in a store, and I don't have it yet, uh, I will be picking it up and will probably try to binge through this. But yeah, here's Fire Punch, two through eight. Super excited. Again, this was with the Simon & Schuster code. I'll put it up on the screen. Uh, hopefully it's still active. That's a, it's a great deal. It's like 30% off and free shipping. Fire Punch, here it is. I'm excited to read another Tusky Fuji Wuru. Alright guys, now this is the last thing I got for this month. And it's probably the coolest thing, not because of what it is, but because how I got it. And that is none other than JoJo's Phantom Blood Hard Covers 1 through 3. JoJo's Hard Cover Part 2. Uh, I don't remember what, Battle Tendency, that's what it's called. Uh, part two, part two, Battle Tendency, hard covers, one through four, literally all for free. Guys, I'm telling you, check Facebook Marketplace. Some lady, I'm, they were a little dusty when I got them, so I'm assuming she had just found them in a closet of either one of her kids or somebody, and she just put it up for free. Uh, and I was like, yes, I would love to have these. So I have first two parts complete and I didn't have to spend any money on it. I've already had part one volume one. I bought it when they first announced it because I wanted to support the release. Uh, so this is a duplicate and I'll definitely be getting rid of it but uh, guys it was uh, absolute like amazing. One of the best deals I've ever found. I just went picked it up. She put it out front for me. So that was super cool. So now I just need parts or uh, I want to get into part four but I'm just missing two more volumes for part three and the paperback. Um, but look at this, look at how weird this is. Volume three is thinner than two and four. And four is so thick because of that. It's very weird, very, very weird. But yeah, guys, check Facebook. Uh, I'm telling you, that is where the deals are. People don't know what things are worth. They just throw out old collections. Even if you have to travel for it, if you can get stuff for like basically pennies, I recommend it. But yeah, here they are in all their hardback glory. They're a little warped because again, I think they were in a closet. I don't know if you can tell. This one's not too bad. Uh, part one, volume one is a little bad. You can kind of tell it's a little warped. But yeah, guys, this was fantastic. Uh, I was dreading getting these because they're so expensive, but now I don't have to worry about that. But yeah, here's the monthly haul. I hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know what you guys are buying and reading. I always love to hear it. Uh, and stay tuned for the next one. Talk to you guys later. Peace.